Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to my channel. If it is your first time here, my name is Sadia Marie. I make videos about living simply, natural beauty, and just holistic health in general. If you're into that type of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a video from me. Today, I'm going to quickly share with you guys some of the things that made me really, really happy during the month of December. So going forward, I'm going to separate my favorites videos into three categories, body, mind, and soul. So let's get started in the body section. First thing I'm going to talk about is this pure rose hip seed oil. I was recommended this a few times um, by different people to help with some hyperpigmentation that I had left over from terrible, terrible breakouts that I was dealing with um, over the summer. So I have been using that. What I have found is that I like it mixed with other oils more so than by itself. I will be doing an updated skincare routine so in that video I will show you exactly how I use it and what I mix it with but if hyperpigment but if hyperpigmentation is something that you have been struggling with and dealing with and you haven't tried this oil I would recommend trying it so the next thing I want to talk about is this so delicious dairy-free coconut milk coffee creamer this is the French vanilla flavor this is a really good alternative to using dairy if you are a coffee drinker and you're trying to stay away from dairy i got the french vanilla flavor and i probably will get just the original flavor next time because it is a little bit more sweet than i would like it to be but all in all it's a pretty good alternative to dairy creamer so for the things that have helped my mind um, i'm going to start with this book it is called a return to love um, reflections on the principles of a course in miracles by marianne williamson no i have not read a course in miracles yet i still need to pick that up but this book right here was amazing and i would recommend it to any and everyone there were so many good points and just eye openers but I'm going to share with you guys one of my favorite quotes from the book and that is as surely as a lack of oxygen will kill us so will a lack of love and I have it posted right here on my wall and read it every single day and I know when you hear like peace and love you think you know hippie whatever but really you can never get enough love I feel like love is one of those things that there is not enough of so give it give it give it openly receive it just love love on people love on animals love on you know yourself just love just more love please this book is great definitely recommend it next thing that is going to come in handy especially with the beginning of a new year because new year means new planner is this planner that I picked up from TJ Maxx. I was actually not going to buy a regular standard planner. I was thinking about doing a bullet journal this year, but I was picking up one for my mother and I really liked the layout of it. So I picked up one for myself as well. I probably will still bullet journal, but for school only and then keep this planner for like my every regular day type of things. I'm one of those people who always have to have a planner. So let me know if you are a write it down type of planner or in your phone, digital on the computer type of planner. Let me know in the comments. And on to the thing that touched my soul the most and that was this portrait that I drew of my son Marvin during an art class that I was taking over the past few months. Drawing is something that I was really into when I was younger, my teenage years, 15, 16, and I kind of just like let it fall off and I picked it back up and realized that I really, really enjoy it. And I was happy to draw this portrait of my son and for it to actually come out looking like him um, because portraits is something that I always struggled with. And I told myself that, you know, I don't like drawing people. I can't, they never look good. I do better with like objects and scenery and things like that. But I did well with portraits and and something that I realized in the process of drawing is that it was extremely calming to my soul. It was something that I could use to just like escape the world for however long that I'm drawing. It was almost like I was in a state of meditation through drawing and it just made me really, really happy. And then my son loves the picture as well. So it was just something that I was really happy about and actually proud of. That is all I wanted to share with you. Now I'm being called downstairs. so. Um, 
So let me know what you guys loved in the month of December and I will talk to you in the next video. New video from me every single week. Please remember to live light, love heavy, and be well. Bye!